Well, good morning, everybody. I'm going to start with a little story. A long time ago in a galaxy, far, no, <laughs> about 10 years ago in a kitchen in Copenhagen, there were three guys, one of them who's now wearing a gold suit, uh, that decided that customer so support so software kind of sucked. It was built around databases, it was super ugly, it was hard to use, and support people hated using it. Fast forward a few years, and now millions of these support agents are using a product called Zendesk Support, and actually solving millions upon millions of tickets for happy customers. So a few years ago, we started to think, OK, well, we've made the life of customer support agents a bit happier, and consequently made the lives of uh, uh, end users a bit happier. But there's one person missing in this equation, in the customer experience. That partner of support, in most cases, the salesperson. So I'm really excited today to announce that Zendesk is doing for the salesperson what we've done for customer support and announcing Zendesk Sell. Now, Zendesk Cell is what's known as a Salesforce automation product. And these have been around for a long time. In fact, 35 to 40 years, at least. And the unfortunate thing is that a lot of Salesforce automation software feels about 35 to 40 years old. What it does is super important. It handles the productivity of a salesperson, or it's meant to, manages sales processes, and also helps businesses manage their pipelines to predict their revenue sources. But the problem is, is that most legacy uh, Salesforce software is built around a database structure. And it's built around screens and processes and compliance that were not built for the people who actually use them. And in fact, most salespeople spend a fraction of their time in their Salesforce automation product and most of their time in other communications media, such as email, or on the phone as well. So with Zendesk Cell, we want to turn this on its head and build the first Salesforce automation product, or sales tool, that was designed for salespeople themselves, something that they actually want to use and communicate with. We want to take, eliminate the arduous tasks of logging things in tasks and filling in fields after, after set phone calls, and make that loads easier. And what we found is by doing that, something kind of magical happens in the fact that instead of notes within a Salesforce or can, uh, automation screen, <coughs> there are some abbreviated thing that a salesperson had to write because their manager told them to, what you get is a flow of a conversation and because of that information is conversational and a lot more detailed, then suddenly the sales managers have more information that they have in order to coach the salespeople, and they have more visibility into what the customer is looking for. In order to do this, we had to make sure that we packed in a number of other tools that are not necessarily included in standard sales software and wrap them up into one package, and that's Zendesk Cell. And I'd like to send the next few minutes in showing you not just why this is the first sales tool that salespeople actually want to use. Actually, do we have any salespeople in here right now? Congratulations on getting in. It's, uh, <laughs> you can join my team, actually. <laughs> but, the, but I'm assuming the rest of you work in customer service. But so Zenacell is also the first sales tool that as a customer service person, you're going to want your salespeople to use as well. And I'll take you through that. So, but let's start with let's start with the salesperson. Um, here is Kate. Uh, she's a top salesperson. You can tell by the grin on her face. Uh, she's pretty successful. And Kate actually works for Helios. Now, Helios, as you know, is a scooter company. But they also have a business which is business to business, not just business to consumer, where they try and get larger companies to actually sign up for free scooter rental for their employees as part of a benefit. Now, as a salesperson, as my friends here will tell you, it's, it's a hard job. 
Because not only do you have to maintain the relationship with the customer and serve the customer and serve the needs of that customer, you also have a duty to the business. And your duty to the business is to hit a target or at least forecast the target to give the company predictable revenue. So you're balancing these two things. And what we've done in Zendesk Cell is created a home screen for the salesperson that allows them to aggregate the information they need at that particular time and manage their business. Where are they according to the target that they promised the business? How are they tracking? What are the hot items that customers want need from them right now? And what are the top deals? And so if we zoom in on it, here's Kate's top deals. And through the magical coincidence of software demos, her top deal is, uh, is somebody called Lisa, who just happens to also be a consumer of Helios, who just happened to have a rental scooter over the weekend, when she went shopping, and that scooter broke down as well. But Zender Cell has been able to connect this information between the business and the consumer and, and, and bring it into focus for Kate. So let's actually have a uh, dig down into that particular detail screen. And what we see now is the information record for this particular deal. Now, you, you remember I mentioned before is that part of the goal of Zender Cell is to really bring down the friction that a salesperson has when they're, trying to, when they're trying to add information to the system. And so built into Zender Cell is the ability for the information about a customer to be augmented by publicly available information. For example, the industry or the size of, uh, size of the company, or filling in certain contact details that might exist. Now this has two benefits. Firstly, it sells a, saves a salesperson a lot of work, but it also helps us get data quality into the system as well. And in many cases, this is where data quality starts within our organization. So if we get it right with the salesperson, as we, the customer moves to that cycle, it's going to be right for support as well. On the other side of the screen, we see a very simple format of the information that Kate is obliged to deliver to the business. Some information about where the deal is some information about the stage, and some projections as to when that deal is going to be closed that can also roll up into, it can roll up into the system and provide accurate forecasting. Now, these two items are flanking the really nice thing about Zendesk Cell. And this is the customer timeline. And rather than thinking about a timeline or, or a customer interaction as a series of tasks, what it does is record that conversation with the customer. And in some cases, it literally records the conversation with the customer because all telephone calls can be made from within Zendesk Cell. What this means is that within Zendesk Cell, you, can send your, uh, you have a full history of the story of the customer from the, from the email sent, from text messages, from telephone calls, giving a really rich and nuanced view of what that relationship is about. Hearing a customer in their own words, as you well know from a service perspective, is worth 10 times of reading some arcane note that's been written by a salesperson. What you'll also notice here is in the timeline, it can actually bring in events from other systems as well. And here we have notes that have come directly in from the ticket uh, that was filed over the weekend uh, from Zendesk support. And it looks simple, it seems simple, because it is pretty simple. But being able to provide, bring all of these inf this information together is very powerful. So anyway, she's got this note, and she now wants to reach back out to the customer. And she's just simply going to ask, um, hey, how did your sport inquiry go over the weekend? Which is a lot nicer reach out than saying, hey, are you ready to buy yet? Of course, she sends the, she sends the message. And because Zendesk Cell is also available, fully featured on mobile, because not all salespeople are at their desks all the time, when that response comes back, she can either get a notification immediately within her, within her desktop, or 
she can get it notified in her mobile as well. And why is this important? We all know as support people, time to first response is a direct correlator with customer satisfaction. As my sales friends all know, getting back to the customer quicker than the competition or getting back to them quick is one of the biggest and best things that you can do in order to enhance a customer relationship. So here we have it. So she gets a note back and, and uh, Lisa says, customer support was fantastic. Send me the paperwork tomorrow. Boom. So immediately she goes over and marks this deal as closed. A little hasty in my opinion since she hasn't actually got the paperwork, but hey-ho. <laughs> and she marks it as closed. Because Zendesk sells, her manager uses the system as well, it actually has a built-in collaboration system using app mentions. So that can automatically, and her manager can automatically trigger back and put a, put a message into the timeline as well on that customer record congratulating her on closing the deal. So it's as simple as that, sales, right? So there's one last thing I want to show you though. It's because, of course, Zendesk Cell works with Zendesk Sunshine. And because Zendesk Cell works with Zendesk Sunshine and support works with Sunshine, then that, the fact that that deal was closed automatically is highlighted within the interactions. So sales events now come into the context of, of, of the support person, which is super important, right? Because if we know that this, where the customer is at in their buying cycle, then we can make some intelligence decisions from customer service perspective as well. Not just automated ones, but using the brains of people who can actually uh, interpret what should be done in that situation. There's another thing that we, uh, as we researched this more, we, we, we found out. And we found this from our own support department, is that the amount of sales inquiries that actually come into support. Not just explicit sales inquiries, like somebody goes to the support site and says, oh, I'm interested in your product. But actually sales opportunities that customer service people know about and can intuitively determine. For example, determining that a customer could really do with some training and buy a potential training package. The, the things that they really want are not available in the plan that they've got, but they could use a different plan. Or they might suggest in there saying, hey, I need to know, have this question because um, there's another team that we might need to integrate this to. So what we're also announcing with Zendesk Cell is a direct integration to Zendesk Support which can convert a customer support team from a perceived cost center to a lead generator, which is the notify sales button. Which means that as soon as an agent sees that there might be a sales opportunity, notify sales will put a lead for that customer into the sales queue of Zendesk Cell that can be followed up immediately. And this is just the first of a number of integrations um, and deeper integrations that you'll start to see using Zendesk Sunshine between support and sell. So there we go. Salesforce automation so software that manages all the, the three Ps. But as we like to think about it, it's just software that people want to use, and it works with support, and it, it's connected with Zendesk Sunshine as well. So uh, Mikkel, hey, look, I figure if you stand here, I can make you disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and it, this, yeah, sounds, <clears throat> this sounds bloody brilliant, uh, Matt. It's fantastic. I'm really excited about this. But how can our customers get access to this? Well, there's a couple of ways. Firstly, if you've got a mobile phone, you can download the app now. You can start a trial. When you get back to your desk, you can download a trial, start it. We've also made the packaging and pricing very similar to how, how you buy Zendesk support. And we've introduced a new plan, uh, uh, the team plan at a low price that allows people to get started very easily. Fantastic. Excellent. And today, here at the conference, how can people learn more about uh, Sender Cell? Right. Well, the two salespeople who are in the audience <laughs> <laughs> can definitely come and see me later. But everybody else, hopefully we've been able to convince you a little bit that it's going to make your life easier and actually your salespeople's lives easier if they start to use Sender Cell as well. So we're going to send you on a mission back, back when you get back home. 
we're going to make it easier for you. So if you go, if you go to the Zender Cell booth in the exhibition hall, we've got a gift for you, which is a coffee mug, and we've got a gift for your sales leader. They're going to be so happy to see you, which is a matching coffee mug. And if that wasn't, <laughs> and if that wasn't cute enough, we're also going to give you a twenty-dollar coffee voucher, so you can really have. <laughs> a fun time with your new BFF. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's it. Fantastic. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, send us Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.